Hello, Bridge Lovers. Stefan from Into Bridge here with another episode of the Daily Celebrity Challenge. Before I start, I want to remind you, hope it's that way, that we have introduced second game of Gavin Wolpert. We used to have them every Tuesday and keep having them every Tuesday at 3.15 Eastern Time. That's 12.15 Pacific, 8.15 UK, 9.15 in the evening Central European. Now, there will be a second Gavin Wolper duplicate, learning duplicate, every Friday, 7 a.m. Pacific time, 10 a.m. Eastern time, that is 3 p.m. UK time, 4 p.m. Central European time. In India, that's 7.30 p.m., so hopefully we will appeal to more people from around the world. For those of you who haven't played those games yet, it's eight boards prearranged by Gavin Wolpert himself. In the end of the eight hands, you either get a live uh, recorded video or there is a Zoom post-mortem live by Gavin. Either of those, the tournament, the post-mortem, if you want to see it, you don't have to, but if you want to, both are free and you can come and play. Also, you can play with a human partner. You can play with a robot partner. On Intobridge, we have a robot that plays different systems. The next game is actually today, Tuesday, 3.15 in the afternoon Easter time, or in Europe, it's in the evening. So you are most welcome to come and play there. Now, let's get rid of Gavin in a nice way. Yes, and let's get to business. So you've already played those hands. I hope you've played them well. And I also hope I'll play them even better. So the first hand is good. I've got 21 high card points, a flat hand. I guess all of us, except those who are trying to do something smart, will open 2 no trump, 3 no trump by partner. Okay, so I know that we'll be playing the same contract with you. Can I do better than you have? I doubt it if it's the same lead. So here we can see we've got six club tricks, two diamond tricks after the lead. So that's eight and two spades is 10. The obvious thing to do is to set up a hard trick and then see what happens with the spades. Because if we take a spade finesse that doesn't succeed, they open up the diamonds and we cannot set up the hard trick. So the right way to play here it is to win the first diamond, cash all the clubs, see what they are doing, and most likely then move to establishing a heart. But it can be here really important uh, to see what are the opponents discarding and eventually gain some clues for later on the finesse of spades. So if you are playing to win, you must definitely take that spade finesse. Just I'm talking how important it is and I'm not following. Okay, I'm following. Two spades discarded by Leah East. Um, so basically if you want to win, you should take the finesse one way or another. Okay, a lot of spades have gone. I think both of them discarded two. Oops, that's interesting. Okay, I think the queen of spades is on my right. I'll discard a spade so I can see if jack 10 double turn. No, it's not dropping jack 10 double turn in hearts. Okay, the spade finesse works the way we thought it will work. So that's 12 tricks. I guess you've done the same. And if you haven't, I guess you haven't cashed the clubs first to get the spade discards. Or if you've done something else, just tell me in the comments below. Okay, next hand, 12 points, balance hand, I open a diamond, I feel sad for those open people who open one club, just to pretend, but I know when you play the daily celebrity challenge, even I do it actually, <laughs> sometimes I open a club just to create a different auction from what my, what the celebrity did, 
but here when I should set an example I'll definitely open a diamond uh, partner opened the spade uh, sorry not opened but uh, responded a spade after they beat one heart so one spade is showing five uh, I wonder is this double a support double no it's not a support double because look thought that two spades is enough when we have three cards in spades so I'm doing it still some people do play support doubles and two spades shows four card support either is fine it's a matter of agreement okay so two spades this is a wonderful contract for me I can still go off if I lose two spades two clubs heart and a diamond but I will try not to oh that's interesting they're giving me rough and this card which means that I can work this out without the finesse in spades uh, sorry in diamonds if I now discard a diamond rough cash king of hearts discard another diamond what worries me is if East Leah East has bought King Jack of Spades and it's third, but then probably Leah West would have all, would have beat more with a singleton spade and the five hearts and those clubs. So I'll not experiment here. I'll take the gift of not relying on diamond finesse at any point okay actually this worked out brilliantly for me yes the diamond finesse worked and that's why probably they played the rough and discarding clubs but at least it, it saved me the nerves to do it later okay so far nothing so special let's see here this hand feels more special any unbalanced hand usually creates more what am i doing i can open one cup i can open three clubs normally first seed favorable the opening bits are way more conservative uh way way more aggressive sorry so maybe i'll be too good for three clubs but here this is the standard two over one system so i don't think this is called that the partner expects me to have a weaker hand yes i do see my five cards in spades by the way and this is what makes me wonder opening one of a suit one club or one spade i'm really really not sure what to do I want to pass and beat later, but not preempting them may cause me dearly because they will exchange very important information. As crazy it is, I'm even considering a two spades bit. Yes, it's shameful, but it will preempt them and it will keep my spades playing board a match style, match point style. Four spades might be my best contract. Even six spades might be. But imagine partner is a single turn spade and we play the most ridiculous contract. We make six clubs while playing in two spades down two. That would be insane. Okay, so whatever I do, it can be right or wrong. That's why I need to do something. If this was in person at the table, normally I like to do it much quicker than I do it now because hesitation at the opening bit gives so much information away uh, that I don't like to to think about it that much. It's clear from the beginning that there is no obvious opening bit, so we just need to choose something. Please tell me what did you choose? What would you bit here? And also if if Three clubs was weaker and that was not an option at all. What would you do? I'm really tempted to beat three clubs here and I'll do that. I feel like a chicken. Okay, my partner is beating four clubs. That's four clubs is just continuing the preempt. When you see this not recommended or recommended to avoid it, do avoid the bit because Leah can go 
crazy. I will not beat five clubs. I think it's against the principles of the preempt. When you preempt, you let your partner control the option. My partner may have lots of hearts. It's really tempting to beat more clubs. Might be making five clubs, but just as a matter of principle, every teacher is saying to their students, you preempt and you let your partner choose what to do later. I know some experts don't follow this all the time, but there is a good reason usually. Here I have potential for defense even in the club suit. My jack of hearts is nice. I'll just pass. I presented my hand as three clubs opener and I'll stick to it and let my partner make the last choice. Pass is the worst I can see, not very encouraging, but I'll just make a lead. Okay, the opening lead tells us not much. My partner Lee, unfortunately, even when there is a singleton on the table, she doesn't know suit preference or attitude, she just plays count. So we don't have the three of clubs and the six of clubs. Presumably Lee has four clubs. Maybe she has two, but that will be really surprising. What I can do is return a spade and trying to get a spade trick before they set up the diamonds. Or I can do the opposite, play a diamond to get a rough before they've taken my trump. Either of this, I don't think there is any clue about any of that. That's why playing here suit preference by Leon North would have been super helpful. Um... So if I play a diamond, I'm definitely playing partner to have the ace of diamonds. And also if partner has something like ace jack third or 14 diamonds, I was making those diamond tricks anyway without getting the rough because the clear needs to lose them. What is the clear shape? Probably six hearts, two clubs and three, three in them spades and the diamonds maybe if the clear has three diamonds maybe he cannot discard more than one spade but who knows maybe he can discard two not three for sure which means that for us to get a spade trick we need to have king jack of spades Also, it's possible partner has no. I was thinking partner may have two aces and get two rubs, but they only have one trump, so <laughs> that's not really happening. Uh, okay, I'll play for the spades, I think, because king jack of spades in partner is the most likely thing that needs help for me as I have no more entries eventually. I'm abandoning the diamond trap with the thought that I may score my queen somehow in a different way or partner can score the jack of diamonds eventually. So I'm playing a spade here. This is not great. We didn't do anything. <laughs> if the clear has the jack. So let's see, did we miss a diamond trap? Or no, we didn't miss anything. Actually, they missed the slam. The slam is on spade finesse. They need the spade finesse to make a slam and they have it. How am I doing in five clubs? Even if I beat five clubs, it means nothing because they may still beat five hearts and even six hearts. Imagine West seeing five cops by me, they would most definitely beat five hearts with the five card support despite the lack of points. And then with the 19 count, knowing partner is most likely single than avoiding cops, they may actually reach six hearts. Tell me if at your table Leah actually reached six hearts. This is the most interesting hand here. So what did you open first? Then how did the auction go? How did it end up? Really anything is possible. Just let's see before we move on. Yes, we have four losers in in five clubs. So we will be down two. Even six clubs is a good sacrifice. 
to a game in hearts and seven cups is a good sacrifice to a slam in hearts. Probably if they reach a slam we could beat seven clubs, but that now would have been non, not that effective because it's 800 well we now lost 680 okay moving on with the flat hands so we do the same naughty people open a club i would open a club maybe if i was not the celebrity today but i am so i'll obey with the rules open my longer minor suit a spade by partner if I had three spades, I would consider passing, but here I don't have three spades and partner can only have four, so may only have four. So partner has five, six, what? Why did my partner not open two spades? Oh my goodness. Okay, I'll report this as a bug. I don't actually see any reason how Nord cannot open one spade, uh, two spades. So second seed vulnerable, it feels like the perfect hand for two spades. Also after one no, <laughs> Nord's hand is a complete maximum, so it should at least invite. If I had something better, we could have easily made a game. And now it's not impossible, if the hard finesse works, we can potentially take three hearts, a club, and six spades. So, yeah, that's that's very disturbing that Leah beat so so possibly here. Okay, the spades are for one. That's good because our slam is not making. Uh, sorry our game i'm keeping the club because if the hard finesse works i want to play a club intending to rough the next one oh actually i don't have entries no it doesn't matter ignore what i'm saying okay let's see that was weird the diamonds are apparently five oh no they are maybe blocked or something because the opponents didn't take yeah they made a mistake leo west should have played another diamond and they could get more diamonds okay ah that's a good moment actually leah didn't make the same mistake against you and you lost so it's not just to have the same bidding or the same contract you need to play the same system and exactly the same cards we get complaints why the robot did something different it did it because it didn't exactly happen what happened at my table even if six were played by you and five by me they're touching cards but still for the robot that's a different thing we have a setup where if the same system is played, same bit, same cards, Leo will continue doing the same thing. But if there is a difference, there is a difference. That's not an excuse why you lost. You can use it, but don't worry. It's, this is how it's coded. Okay, I have 22 balance. They are nothing special, so I'll not upgrade them. I'll just open to no Trump. 20, it's 2021, 20, but they are not... They are not bad 22, but not so amazing. And when you go via two clubs, it can be wider range. Okay, this is a simple statement. Simple statement. I just beat three diamonds. Here an interesting continuation. Zia plays over three clubs, simple statement. Three no trump response shows five spades. That's his way to capture at least the five spades playing a simple statement. Uh, and actually, I thought that you can even improve to that and play some mixture of simple statement and puppet statement where three hearts is obviously four or more hearts, but now over three hearts, you beat three spades showing exactly three hearts, and that's why you how you can get to a hard fit so it's some combined simple to puppet stamen i haven't seen it anywhere else so you can call it stefan stamen if you're using it unless you find the real founder my bridge partner from before told me that every bridge convention has been invented in most countries usually more than uh, 
in a country once, but around the world, maybe more than once with different names. For example, the convention Motilandi is called UTS in America and IASEM in Poland. Uh, just let's come back here. They let us spade the ten of spades, low, low, low ace, jack, and now they're killing my spade stopper. So I'm not too worried for making the game, but I'm really worried about the over tricks. What's happening? I can get now five clubs, two diamonds, a heart is eight, and I took the spade just now. So I have nine top tricks. If I was playing Kims, I could even claim now just making. But playing match points or board a match, I'm really, really tempted to get a hard finesse. I will start with the clubs and see how I move forward. But basically, in Bulgaria, we say, and probably it's universal wisdom, that pulling a long suit tires the opponents and they make mistakes so that's their first discard both are discarding a heart this is not telling me much i'll cash one weird diamond to make them wonder what's going on and to make them keep the diamonds as i'm playing them they may think i do care about the diamonds more so let's see another heart by my lefty a heart by my righty wow it looks to me like lefty has five spades, four hearts. But is that the case? Okay, I'll play the heart and yes, the guy has the king. I think they will always give me a diamond, but they still have enough spades to get with the king of hearts so establishing a heart for an over trick is pointless i think i just take my diamond and move on so that's it nine tricks i didn't manage to go off with nine top tricks which my regular partners will consider a big achievement the most interesting hand for sure was this one, the four hearts board three, where I chose to open three clubs. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this. Tell me in the comments what did you do on board three. If you want, tell me what you did on a different board. I guess if you played different system, Leonard here opened with two spades. And maybe you beat two no Trump and maybe you went off in three or four spades and now you're blaming Clea and you're most welcome, but I won't. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. This is it for now. Thank you. Bye.